I am Vanessa DeBerlay and welcome to my channel. And today we are gonna go over three different tools that I think every new YouTuber needs. You're using your phone to videotape with, you don't need anything expensive. Channel, And I'm really gonna emphasize some cheaper tools that I have used since day one and I'm still using them. So I know you see all kinds of videos of all this expensive equipment. <laughs> they know I'm videotaping them so they're not following me. Um, <laughs> these are my helpers. We're going down the driveway. Um, I'm using one of the tools right now. Uh, it's a selfie stick and you're gonna go, oh my gosh, well that's, you know, simple. But I can walk, I can pull a wagon, I can take pictures and very easy to use. And you don't have to worry about having um, one of the ones with the remote control. If you want one, you can, but I just start the video. When I go to edit, you just chop off the, the beginning. Don't, don't make it more difficult than it has to be. Now I'm going to show you how simple the selfie stick is. You just, the one I have and the one that the link is below, it actually um, collapses into like a tube and you can stick it in your back pocket. You can stick it in your purse. Uh, very easy to carry. It is the second one I've had because the first one had this great big bulky attachment at the top for the camera and it ended up breaking when I put it in my pocket. So that's why I like this one. It doesn't have anything fancy. There's no remote control for you know when to start your video or any of that. But go ahead and look at this one. If this isn't what you want, you want something fancier, then you know feel free to do that, but it's not necessary. Why am I showing these tools? Everybody shows you all these tools and when you're new, you're seeing all these DSLR cameras and all this expensive equipment. And those are things people build themselves up to. In the beginning, you have your phone, your selfie stick, and then these other two items that I'll show you as well. Uh, the second tool I wanna to talk about is a tripod. Those are really nice if you have a lot to say, you're kind of sitting in one spot and you don't wanna to have to worry about holding the selfie stick. Um, the selfie stick is great if you're walking just like I was earlier, walking with the wagon, I've got my other free, hand free and I can talk. So definitely put the tripod up if you're sitting in one spot and you really wanna, you know, um, not have to move around and all that. But the one I have again is very inexpensive. I've had this one since day one. I use it all the time. Uh, I use it even when I set up in front of my computer. I put my webcam on it. A webcam is not necessary, so that's why I'm not putting it on this video. But I do believe the tripod is and the selfie stick is. And I have a really cute little video or a couple pictures I'm going to show you of my granddaughter. She thought she was looking at the stars and used it as a telescope. We have no idea where she got that from. So I look at those pictures, they're cute. All right, number three. Again, this one is number three. It's the third most important thing and it is that lav lavalier uh, microphone. If you feel like your audio isn't picking up really good on your phone, don't go get a new phone. Just plug this in and it picks up really well and it has a six foot cord and it, and it goes all the way, you know, you can have your tripod real far away, the six foot cord, and it, and it works really well picking up audio. So right now I'm close to my phone, but if I had this sitting about five feet away, because I want to get a, a big picture behind me, then you're going to want to use the microphone. I have used it. I don't use it a lot. I don't do a lot of far away shots just because I'm, I'm all about keep it simple, right? Um, but definitely if you're into that and you want to have, you know, big range in the back, big group or something, then that is my third recommendation. And right now, that's all you need. Uh, if you're starting, don't go out and spend a bunch of money. On the flip side, don't sit there and not spend money. There's, there's that balance, right? You can't, you're not going to get into any business or any hobby without spending something. And I know in the beginning, it's hard not you know you don't want to spend a lot of money so pick and choose where you spend it that's going to make your life easier in what you're doing all right that's all i have for today and thank you to my little helpers um subscribe to my channel i will always have lots of tips and strategies to help you with your endeavor on youtube and in your business and and how to make money online and offline <laughs> and uh, we i thank you for watching and you have a blessed day Thank you.